Little Lulu had a brother, baby sister and busy mother. Daddy worked far from home. Lulu felt all alone. Queens native and now Cold Spring resident Helene Sola is a registered nurse, a clinical nursing instructor, and now an author. Lou begged, please, I want a cat to cuddle perfectly on my lap. The fabulous, marvelous Rexaru is my cat, and he is fabulous and marvelous. Lulu and the fabulous, marvelous Rexaru is the story of a lonely little girl who discovers a very unusual cat. Lulu's world began to change. Things began to look quite strange. Helene and her family adopted the real Rexaru three and a half years ago from the Mid-Hudson Animal Aid Shelter in Beacon. If you walked into the shelter, you would see a room that had approximately 100 cats in it. For the past 25 years, the shelter has been serving Beacon and the Greater Hudson Valley as a no-kill, free-range cat sanctuary. Cats that come to our shelter are never put to death unless it is a, there's no life-saving measures that we can do. Rex was one of many in the litter that was brought in and all his siblings died. He was uh, scrawny and not well. We actually, my husband and I, literally nursed him, IVs at home, back to health. With a puff of smoke above her head, she saw him sitting on her bed. I am the fabulous, marvelous Rex Saru, here to be a friend to you. That cat is very special to me, so I was determined. And now she is determined to share the success of the book with that very special place where this soon-to-be famous fictional feline got his real world start. We've had a, a lot of very, very sick cats come in this year. And for her to donate profit to us is just amazing. It just leaps and bounds of what type of person she is. Wherever Lou went, Rex was near with a friendly smile and lots of cheer. I'm a big believer in good karma. You give, you get. And her goal is to keep giving in addition to sharing proceeds of the book for the purpose of animal rescue, Sola plans to donate to the March of Dimes. Her work as a neonatal nurse puts her on the front lines of their cause, making her no stranger to the needs of babies born prematurely and the rescue that they need. And maybe one day I'll be able to donate all of the proceeds. So perhaps a more appropriate name for her furry character should be Rescue Roo, seeing the ripple effect of generosity the book is generating. The children stopped and talked to Lou. Could they see her rex a -roo? So what's next for rex a -roo? You could have a whole series of rex a -roo books. And I plan to actually have number two in my head. She thought Rex whispered in her ear, My little Lou, I'm always here. I'm in your heart, your Rex Aru. I will always be a part of you. I could see him as a float in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs>